Hold on the second right? and we've got some more Fearia. Last time I surrendered in the game crashed. So that's a thing. Um, I did apparently make it to level 47 and here's the reward for it. That's cool. Anyway, we're at exactly 10,000 gold. That's interesting. Into the game we go. Three wins, one death. Let's look for another match. Um, I will admit, I'm not expecting to end up being a 9 winner. I've never done that. In fact, I've never caught past, uh, God, what was the best one I did? I'm not sure, but it's not been good. It's not been past halfway, for sure. But, who knows? I've done relatively well with deck. I actually tried with making the deck instead of just picking shiny stuff. So we shall see, we shall see. Um, neither of these, and we'll just keep the Earthcraft because... Actually, I don't really have a reason. Let's just keep it. Ooh, Siege Engine. Mmm, mmm, okay. Mmm, that's nice. Um... Go on second. Um... Ooh, that's so nice. What do you do? What do you do? Um, he's got red. And he's just making it my turn. Three. Um, I'll put it out. I'll put out an island. To counter your mountain. There we go. That's not how it works. And you're creating a mountain. With a 5 2. And your dual coloring. Interesting. And on the next turn. Generous. 7. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is, if it doesn't die, okay, Wild Growth, Gabriel Enchantress, and see how that works. Obviously before it attacks. Spirit of Rebirth, that's a thing? Oh, wow, yes, please. Explore, Island. Bam. And now it's a 7 6. You actually use emotes. Go away. Um, I honestly don't mind emotes. It's just. Let's not. What are you gonna try to counter it with? I'm thinking Forest Sylvan Warrior. Oh wow, hmm. That's a thin. That's a thin. And yeah, they're both. It's all just kind of a circling the wagons there. But I'm gonna attack just because, well, even though his stuff gets bigger in his hand. My dude gets bigger for attacking. Admittedly, he's playing red, and red has damage. I he might attack me directly. Be a thing. Um. Depending, if he just moves up and doesn't attack, which would be weird. If he does that, he shouldn't. Well, he might have a, a... a thing that pumps. No, he's doing that. Okay, so this dude moves... the Enchantress moves up. Okay, never mind. No, the Enchantress doesn't need to move up. My turn. Shard. That's... I don't care about the shards at the moment. 
Um, actually, stop that. that out, and the turn. It's now a 9-3, though 3 health is definitely well within the range of getting poked death. And he's not, he's had enough mana for it. And hell, even punishment will take it out. Uh, what did he do? Crack door. Randomly split, that happens. And it dashes, whatever. Um, we've got a mere phantasm. And we've got a thing that gives a dude protection now. Well, it's an option for later. If we get one more... But we don't have enough islands. Hmm. That's a shame. Move up. So we can put an island there. Near phantasm. Phantasming that. And we'll end the turn. We have uh, we have lethal on board. Let's see what it does. Can you stop it? This could end up being a really quick game if you can't. Uh, like it just takes playing a creature in here. Which he does, that's fine. Move up, poke. Another shard. It's actually annoying. Um That way we can put out the warden. Perfectly fine. We, that that was a that was an unexpected way of doing the game. Oh hey, 150 for the reward for winning. It's actually really nice. I rarely see more than 30, which is the minimum now. Well yeah, that that's why I like Siege Engine. Siege Engine is one of those things where you can just put down this giant threat early on. Well, let me rephrase that. Where you can put down a threat early on. It's not a giant. The reason why I was so good was because I did have the uh, enchantresses, and just the one enchantress suddenly turned a slow death clock into a, I'm pounding your face into the cement right now. Do you give up? And he did. Admittedly, yeah, kind of had game on the board, especially since I threw protection on it. So even if he did draw some kind of burn, it would have taken two burns. Admittedly, the protection can be taken out by a hawk shot or something simple like that, but you never know. Um, we are playing first. I'm actually okay with this hand. Let's run up along here. With the water elemental, we put an island here. Island. Or. And he's going that way, actually, yeah. So. Island. Ooh, hmm. 
No, you don't really have much of a choice there. So, island. So the island over there. The next turn we can prairie prairie. Admittedly, this is putting us behind on, behind on our forest production, and apparently he's playing blue as well. Though admittedly, right now, my deck looks like I'm playing mono blue, which is far from the truth. Quite far. <laughs> um, if we draw Earthcraft, it's actually really convenient. Uh, Tail of Turtle, that's... yes. And we drew a shard, expected. Usually end up drawing at least one shard from any kind of big draw anyway. A Lore Thief, for cheap. And he chose to pump it. I'm gonna get this in on this. Let's see what he does. The current thing I'll probably end up doing, if he doesn't do anything crazy, is forest up here, and then I can play the Oak Father. Still not something crazy. Okay, yeah, you can go in there. Um, can I get a Beastmaster Oak Father? Actually, do I want... Actually, I probably just want the Tiki Oak Father. And you know what? I can actually play the Presence. So we'll go with the Presence. It gets us a Seedling, which is stupid. Uh, that's actually really bad. The Seedling is not a good one to have that on. And with that in mind, yeah, we'll go and put the uh, Oak Father over here. Um, this dude's sitting here. I'm not going to attack. If he wants to take it out, he can do that. If not, well, it's sitting there. Breath dry kill is due. Admittedly, the seedling is a really convenient, nice little bit of a frogify. That's half expected. Oh, that's not expected. Okay, yeah, that's a bit more than I was uh, expecting to see. Hmm. Because even if it survived, I would have been able to uh, embrace it. Hmm. Hmm. He actually had some burn. Admittedly, I think I have some in my deck as well, but still. Or do I? Hmm. No, no. I think I mostly just got removal of types. Oh, hey. Yeah, there we go. I think he still gets... Yeah, he gets three more. That's very nasty for us because he just drew a lot, and now he can actually use something that he got. We'll see where this goes. Um... That's to be expected. Uh, the defender is now in a completely inoperable place. Admittedly, it is there protecting the uh, Tiki Totem now, or at least that's going to be the stated thing it's doing.
of this. This was the one that changes them up. I think I'm going to keep that and... Let's get another forest over here just to make him nervous. Let's see what he does. The urn is nice, but at the moment he doesn't think I have much in my hand. He knows I have a treasure, but he doesn't know what. And there's a few highly expensive treasures that I would not be able to play yet. He's uh, cutting that off so I can't escape more. Not that it matters since... Oh, oh wait. Jewel Magpie. And he's going straight for that. That happens. I want the Jewel Magpie. I don't know why he put it there. Well, at least I know what his treasure was. Okay, he's got the siege engine hooked up. That's only I'm supposed to be able to do the siege engine. That's my thing. Okay, um draw cards. We have our own siege engine. But what we're going to do. is it's not big enough to trigger an ancient beast master set so doesn't matter um and copy the seed like so it's uh, 11 12 that's pretty good um do I want him break right now because he could have more frogifies and we're going to put out no we don't have the beast master out so the only pump we get is once and from the jewel or and from the tiki totem so that can stay over there and we've got our own siege engine in our hand yeah, that's the expected thing. Coming when you do something unexpected. You did mana, so you're not looking for a treasure. Or if you are, it's not any of the treasures that matter at the moment. Treasure and it's an ocarina, and we get another treasure. And it's the Earthfire Shaker. Okay, haha, -ha. that's interesting. Mm. With this, what do we do? First of all, that's all we can do there. Arena, some extra mana. And the turn. Get the extra stuff. Flower and Grace makes it a bit bigger. Pokes a bunch of stuff. Do I need to make it bigger though? Not particularly.
Beastmaster. Now I have lethal on the board. It has taunt and protection. It's annoying. I can mirror phantasm it. So if he doesn't do anything to Apex Predator, I still have lethal. The Jin's lamp, that could be bad. Mm-hmm. You know, zero cost happens. Still hasn't touched my dude. So I can... S Mirror Phantasm is waiting in the wing. Tyrannix, does it matter? And he's out of fair. Well, he's out of fair. Okay, yes. Bam. This deck is definitely really nice. Uh, this is. We are officially in the territory where this is the best I've ever done at Pandora. Moving right into the next game, since we're only at about 20 minutes, those two were really quick games, all things considered. It seems that for the longer ones that aren't just dragging on, I average about 20 for Pandora. I'm not sure what the uh, normal stuff is, but yeah. So between 10 and 20 minutes seems to be a, about the time range that I take to play a deck. Obviously, that's not dealing with things like Rush or whatever, because those, those um, kind of skew the odds with how they work. And apparently, Rush is very popular for getting to God rank. That's a thing. Whatever. I'm just not really someone that plays Rush. Eh, I guess that's just how it rolls. How the cookie crumbles. Let's see if I had any. Mm. Moving a creature of a card takes into account its jump and charge ability. Yep, and flying, and of course anything else. Um, I think moving it with another card actually doesn't take into account other people's taunt. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Neither of these need to be in my hand. They both take two lands. <sighs> better. It's not better. Forest. Forest. Tiki Longhorn. Still forest, forest, Tiki Longhorn. Um, actually, I don't like having the Thing right next to it. The letter. Oh, I should have played the Longhorn. Durr. Or wait, no, no. The point that I'm waiting for is so I can get the Longhorn to have the Tiki Pump. That's the. the... There we go. And we've got a Beastmaster, which is always nice with this deck. It's, it's definitely quite odd when I don't get it early on, because I have four of them. I haven't already mentioned that enough. Hmm. Meh. Mm. 
my turn. Actually, we are going to put out that, move this forward. I'm going to put out the Ancient Beastmaster. Because there's a Tiki Totem kind of puts you into that sort of thing where it wants you to have a tempo. One creature a turn, boom, 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 kind of thing. Oh, that's nasty. Um, and he's putting it there, her. He does not want me to do... Wow, yeah, hmm. Interesting. He does not want me to have this. He does not want me to have that at all. We're going to explore forest. Take out that. And we're going to put the grizzly there. A 510, I think, is reason. Oh, damn! <sighs> My mistake. Oops. I'm gonna mute, emote. mute emotes now. Yeah, that was my mistake, not your mistake, just so you know. I was a derp. It's gonna lose me in the game, isn't it? Well, I could. Where's that falcon shot? Nope, he's just playing another flame spear. Fair enough. There's a shard. We get Runin's presence. That's what I was gonna put it It's coming up. Oh, oh, oh! Wow. Um. Huh. Okay. I can deal with that. Four damage, and then I can kill that. Congratulations! You've now got a creature that can't. Do anything of much worth? Um. Yeah, you put that there, that's fine. My turn. Well, good thing I wasn't going to right away put things there. Um. Siege engine? That's cute. And the turn. Let's see what goes on. I hope it's like currently blocked himself off from doing stuff there. That's kind of weird. Okay, that's moved forward. That means I'll want a forest there, actually. Yeah, unless he moves. No, he did not move into it. That was a mistake. If you have a choice between moving into your own spot and one of your enemy spot, especially when you have it blocked off like this, you move into the enemy spot. Run in the relentless. As dash, but this is where I want to be. <laughs> like, this is where I want to be. Why would I move? And he's not playing blue, so there's very little chance he has any way to permanently deal with it. And once Pandora hits, I can play every turn if need be. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, my next turn is probably going to be a Tiki Caretaker on it. Because. Oh no, you heard it. And now it's in my hand. It's a 6-6 six, six, though. Huh. <laughs> it happens. And there's Death Touch. Because Death Touch. Pandora awakens. Hello. I'm not actually going to be playing it. It might seem odd, but it's mostly just because I want to get these two things out. So we're going to Ancient Beastmaster there. 
and then we're going to Defender. There we go. That way on my next turn I can play Runin and the Queen should be or the Queen's Assassin should be taken care of. Okay, you're playing a 6-9 taunt. That's pretty beefy, but... I can also play my own 6... And it's a seven. Okay. Um, we're actually going to move that down there. Um, next turn, as long as Runin's still alive, we're going to Grove Garden. I must admit, allowing him a free hit on me is kind of against what I want to do, but not having much choice there. Any Doomsights? Runin, I'm guessing? Yeah, it's Doomsight. And hey, it's an 8-8 eight, eight now. Hmm. It's actually unfortunate. Um. Oh, good. He's playing that there. That's fine then. Good. Hmm. Be useful. I'm probably going to lose this. I've been talking a good game, but there's a decent chance I'll lose this. Six. Live, but then that. Yeah. Treasure found, that sucks. Or wait, no, he's already used the scythe, so he won't have another scythe. So that's okay. Um, though it could be damage. Any kind of. Oh, he's got an urn. That. Yeah, that sucks. At this point, having treasures is a bit of a thing. That that lets that live, yes. That is a thing, but now he can't actually shoot. So I'm okay with that. We are at six, though, so we need to do something about this, which probably means the Ancient Beastmaster is going to die. Triton Diver is not what we need right now. Um, Ancient Beastmaster Runin? Or Runin Tiki? Three, four. Um, let's do that. Um, he's not running anywhere. If anything, he'd be running over there. But no, we want to block that. Uh, and we'll get some extra fairy. No, not another treasure. Ugh. Admittedly, Earthfire Shaker is really nice for me. Okay. And... Huh. This is close. Do you have a Falcon? Or I think Falcon Shaw only works on other creatures. Um, we could technically play that. That, uh, I won't say this though. We need a taunt. How many cards are in our hand? One, two, three, 
or we have nine in our hand. That means we can't actually draw a card. We're just gonna uh, I think we lose this. Yeah, we do not have enough taunt. I probably just played it wrong. I probably went ooh shiny on the rune and didn't play smartly enough. Uh, that's a cheap thing to play that I can get out of my hand. Let's go there. Draw a card. Charis. No. Okay. Surrender. And once again, the game crashes when I surrender. That's an interesting thing. I don't like interesting in this case. But, uh, description will, or links will be in the description. And I'm Accurate and I'm signing off.